It's always a good day when I get a new pair of shoes. It's always a great day when those shoes are a pair of Doc Martin boots. A couple of fun facts about me. One, I love to shop. Two, I absolutely love Doc Martens. And three, I am in the Amazon Influencer Program. So you put all those three things together and I'm like, ah, I love it. So the other day I was on Amazon and I'm looking around and I found Doc Martens and I'm like, score. Then I'm looking a little bit closer and I'm like, these are the cutest boots I've seen in a very long time. And I looked even a little bit closer and they were on sale. And the boots I'm talking about are these right here. These are the most amazing, cute Doc Martin boots that I've had in such a long time. So I'm gonna give you a review from start to finish, right out of the box, um, from wearing them to outfits. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on these boots and I'm gonna tell you straight up whether I think they are worth the investment or if it's something you can pass on. So let's just get going and start with this Doc Martin boot review. The boots that I found and I bought are the Vonda boots. Now these come in the high boots like I have here and they also come in the lower boot. So if you're not into the high boots or if you don't like them um, around your calf, you can find them in the lower boot. Now straight out of the box, the moment that I unpacked them and I took them out of the box, my first impression was um, very soft leather. Sometimes with the Doc Martens, they can be really stiff. I have a pair of Hello Kitty Jaden boots that are absolutely like cardboard. I cannot break these things in to save my life. I love them, I just can't wear them very long. But these right out of the box, um, very soft. And um, I thought, huh, we're off to a good start. You know what? They're stinking cute. I loved the embroidery all the way from the top down to the bottom. Now it's on both sides of the shoe. So let me show you here. So on your right side, you have the embroidery on the right. On the left, you have it on the left. So when you're walking around, doo -doo -doo, no matter which way you go, people are gonna see the amazing detail and the embroidery on the boot. So first impression, right out of the box, I was like, wow, these are pretty cool. I need to try these on. So I decided to put these on right away. My first impression was um, how lightweight they were. A lot of times with Doc Martens, they can be kind of heavy and um, a little clunky, maybe a little cumbersome. Um, these are very lightweight. So if you're worried about the weight, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much leather, you know, they're already heavy. They're really not. Now, typically my go-to um, Doc Martin style is a platform style boot. I absolutely love the Leona. So I was like, hmm, this is not, there's just a very small heel. And I'm like, huh, how am I gonna like that? You know, it, it's kind of flat but I found it to be very comfortable. So I wasn't, you know, that didn't throw me off at all. So laced them up, unzipped them, put them on, um, lightweight, soft. And I gotta tell you, I mean, I was getting more and more impressed with um, these boots as the day went on. So my next test for these boots, and again, whether or not they're worth your money to purchase, is how comfortable are they? I mean, they were comfortable right out of the box, but after wearing them for a while, was I gonna be thinking the same thing? So um, I just continued to wear them. Now, one of the areas that I was really looking for um, as far as comfortability was the toe area. Because the toe area right here, that's solid. That's not gonna go anywhere. You're not, you're not supposed to break down the toe area. It's supposed to stay rigid and hard like that. Where I was concerned because I do had I have I've had surgery on my right foot um, twice, so I am a little sensitive on my right foot. So I was worried about this area right here. Super soft. I didn't have any problems in that area. The next place where I was looking at for comfortability was this back area. Again, 
very hard. See, you can squish this all around up here, but when it comes to the heel, that's not supposed to move. So I was very conscientious about the heel area. It didn't, um, it didn't rub, it didn't, um, there was no discomfort in my heel. So it was passing my comfort test. Again, in the foot area and the heel, no problems at all. So comfortability, they're great. Absolutely love them, not gonna freeze them. Um, I'm gonna continue to wear them around the house and out and about because my ultimate goal is to wear these to San Francisco next month when I'm in the city. That is the ultimate guide to how comfortable my Doc Martens are. So um, I have to have these completely broken in in the next couple of weeks. I've done a lot of videos on breaking in Doc Martens and I've, um, I have done YouTubes on freezing your Doc Martens, which I think freezing, and I'm gonna tag the video up here, is a great way to break in those just hard to break in Doc Martens when you need them. But these, um, I am not going to freeze these boots. I'm not gonna freeze these boots for two reasons. One, I don't believe I'm gonna have to. If anything, I'll use some Wonder Balm on the leather um, just to kind of keep it soft and pliable. You can also put that on the inside. And two, I don't wanna freeze them because I don't wanna stretch out the leather because of the embroidery detail. Now, when you freeze a boot and you stretch the leather, it will, I don't want it to affect this applique. So I am not going to do that. The next area that I wanna to talk to you about is how were they with different outfits? Now, I got the taller ones because I was thinking during like the fall and the winter, they would be really cute with skirts and dresses and things like that. Because, you know, just, I thought this would just be the cutest look or with like leggings or something along those lines. But I didn't want to limit them to just those kind of outfits. I wanted to be able to wear these with jeans and pants. So any of my wide leg, any of my bubble pants, anything like that, these are gonna work perfectly with. They're gonna go straight over. Now, they also work with straight leg jeans. They are form-fitting enough and they're close enough to my actual shin that the pants fall really nicely over the top of this. So I can wear them with um, pants, like I said, with straight leg jeans. Um, for skinny jeans, I probably will wear these over the top just because I don't want it to be where it's like trying to, that was my imitation of trying to put my jeans over my boots, but I will limit these to straight legs over the top, skinny jeans down inside. And so I don't think there's anything I can't wear these with. Um, I, I, again, um, they're passing every single one of my requirements for a good pair of Doc Martens to um, be invested in. And so far these, these are rating very, very high. So my general um, review, my wrap up of these tall Vonda boots are 100% if you are looking for a boot um, either in the, the tall or like I said, they do have them in the shorter boot. I 100% recommend these boots. I will give these boots a nine and three quarters out of 10 because nothing is perfect, but these are so close to being perfect. It's amazing. Um, I don't have any, any negative reviews of this one. I don't have anything that I think that you should be concerned about. Um, I mean, a couple of things that I hear feedback on sometimes are, you know, with boots that are this high, it's if you have larger calves, that might be an issue. But again, um, they, they're adjustable. So I'm thinking that you should be able to adjust them to whatever width your calf is to make those comfortable for that. I love the coloring. I love the red. I have not found them in any other color, but this combination, but you know, does that mean that they don't exist? I'm not too sure, but absolutely this one. Now, I did do some TikToks and some Instagrams, um, some reels, and I got a lot of comments back about people who have this boot and overwhelmingly it is extremely, um, it's rated very high. 
um, both in this tall one and the short one. So I, I mean, I'll give you my honest mom opinion. If you're thinking about investing in a pair of Doc Martens and you, you are wondering if they're gonna be a good pair, I 100%, you know, I recommend these. I think they're great. And um, if you want to look for them on my Amazon page, I have that down below. If not, just go directly to the Doc Martin website and you can look for them there. Uh, gosh, what can I say? I think they're amazing and I'm super happy about them and I can't wait to continue to wear them. It's, um, like I said, I'll be wearing them to San Francisco next month and I'm excited to be able to, you know, stomp all over the city in them. And I always say, wear what brings you joy and this is absolutely what does. Regardless as to what age you are, I don't care. You need to smile and be happy and feel good about yourself regardless as to what you wear. If this isn't your style, just find something that is and just rock that. I mean, life's too short to be dull and life's too short to wear something that you're not happy about. So just, you know what, like I said, just wear whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy, just do it. If you enjoyed today's episode, by all means, please hit that like button. If you'd like to stick around and see what I'm gonna talk about next, please hit subscribe. I would love, 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 love any of your comments about today's episode. You know, what's your favorite Doc Martin? Do you have any tips for breaking in? You know, I'd love for you to be able to share any comments that you have. If you have any questions about this particular boot, I will do my best to answer your questions for you. Uh, also too, if you'd like to follow me on all of those social media accounts I keep telling you about, um, I do have close, actually I have over a million followers and I, you know, if you want to follow me on those platforms also, those are all listed down below. Again, my Amazon page is down below and until next time, please remember where what you want and I will see you on the next episode.